everyone and welcome in this video we will talk about k fold cross validation in machine learning so whenever we go to build our model we divide our data set into training and testing part right so here we have our data set then we can divide this into 70 is to 30 ratio that is 70% for training and 30% for testing or 75 is to 25 ratio that is 75 for training our model 25 for testing our model or in any other ratio right so here let's consider we have 70 is to 30 so we have divided our data set 70% for training and 30% for testing right so we have this training set and testing set now on training set we build our model and on testing set we check how well our model is working so we evaluate our model right but there is a problem with this kind of approach and we will talk about that and we will see how k fold cross validation will help us right so here let's consider an example before moving forward so let's say you are a student and your professor has taught you about linear algebra all the, this semester right so during exam you also prepare only questions from linear algebra now in exam you have question both from linear algebra as well as calculus right so you have studied only linear algebra but you also got the question from calculus now this would be your face right you will think that your professor should have taught calculus as well and for the rest of the exam you are going to scratch your head for the calculus problems so you will attempt all the linear algebra part and you are going to scratch your head for this calculus question right so here this is the problem with simple train and test plate as well so here we have this data set let's say we have orange red green and light green points let's say right so we divide this into training set and testing set right on training set we are going to build our model right this is the approach that we follow right so here we are going to build the model then we are going to evaluate on the testing set but here if you see in our training data set we have we don't have all these data points right so we have this red green and orange data point but not the light green data point right we don't have this light green data point so our model has not been trained on light green data point so you can think of this light green data points as the question from the calculus and we have trained our model to solve the problems from linear algebra only right so here we don't have this light green point in our training data set but it is there in the testing data set right so here we are going to have a problem we are going to have a problem with predicting whenever we encounter this kind of data right so we have this light green point in our training data so when we evaluate our model for this green point that is light green point it will give us false predictions as our model is not trained on this light green point so to come to rescue here for this simple train and test split is k fold cross validation and we are going to talk about that how it overcomes this problem so here let's say we have this data set right so we have all these data points now here we divide our data set into k folds that is k groups so you can give any value for this k so we divide our data set into k groups that is k folds right and the first task is to choose the number of or the value of k so you can choose according to your 
ways all right and let's say here we have k equals to 5 so here we have this as our training data set right so we have k equals to 5 so this is our group 1 that is fold 1 all right then we have this fold 2 that is group 2 so it is going to divide our data set into five different folds right so these are the five folds in our data set now if you now what we are going to do is this first fold is going to be treated as our testing set and rest all other data points are going to be treated as training set right so this is the first iteration then we calculate the accuracy let's call this as acc1 that is accuracy 1 next what we do is we have this second fold as our testing set and rest are our training set so we have this second fold as our testing data set and rest are our training data set similarly you calculate the accuracy two for this iteration that is iteration two and similarly now uh, this is the fold three this is going to serve as the testing set and rest all are our training set right similarly we have this accuracy three we calculate the accuracy three now in fourth iteration we have this fourth fold as our testing set and rest are our training set right we calculate the accuracy for this time all right so next at the final iteration we have this fold 5 as our testing set and rest are our training set and again you calculate the accuracy 5 so we have trained our model we have trained our model on each set right each fold so each fold has served as training as well as testing data points right so here our model has been trained on all the data points there is no question or question that can come out of syllabus right so now you calculate the accuracy of each iteration that is acc1 acc2 acc3 4 5 and you take the mean of all this accuracy right so this is the k fold cross validation solving the problem of your simple train and test split i hope you are clear about this now and thank you very much for listening to our video